Welcome to His Wife, Her Husband, where we talk all things faith, family, finance, fitness, and fun. fun. We fitness fun in here. You say it every time. Hello, my name is Shamika. I am his wife. And my name is Patrick. I am her husband. Uh, thank you all for tuning in to our YouTube channel. Please, if you are new to this channel, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the thumbs up button as well as hit the notification bell so that when we drop new videos, you'll be the first to know uh, when we drop those videos. If you have any questions uh, and you want us to answer them on this particular channel, please send those questions to his wife, her husband 97 at gmail.com. His wife, her husband 97 at gmail.com. So today we just want to take time to talk about um, enjoying the finishing of the year as a strong couple as well as heading into the new year. You know, with your, with, your, with your best foot forward. That's good. You know? So, uh, 2021, I'm sure, has Where's been... My crooked? Where's my cricket? Where's my shirt saying? Now you good. Randomness? Right. Anyway, well, 2021 has given us our share of challenges, mm -hmm. right? We had to make the adjustments and to adapt and... We had to do the things that needed to be done for us as couples and families to to make you know necessary adjustments like sacrifices have been made mm -hmm. and different things and all that but anyway going forward but well, first of all we want to tell the lord thank you for helping us make it through this year because it's many people many people did not make it through and so the fact that we are here that's given us another opportunity to take time to tell our spouses thank you for sticking and staying for being there uh, through the rough times, the hard times, and by the same token, to set goals for the new year. Like, don't wait until 2022 to then decide what you want to do. Let's go ahead and do it now. So when we go into 2022, we'll go in doing, you know, what's good. Right. Why are you looking at me? You want me to chime in? I do. Oh, I, I can't say anything, but ditto. Wow. So then what we're asking you to do, or one of the things you can look back individually, like, because I want you to look back individually, um, look back individually and see where you could have um, improved. What were your opportunities of improvement to where you could have better been a better husband to your wife or better wife to your husband? Like, what are the areas you say, okay, yeah, I messed up here, I messed up here. I did good here, I did good there, and kind of do an assessment of, of your 2021 uh, year in marriage. And if you've gotten away from something, no matter where you are in your marriage, if you've gotten away from doing something that you used to do, that you know your spouse really enjoys, go back to doing that. You know, go back to, if it's flowers, go back to getting flowers. If it's, you know, early morning intimacy, go back to, go back to that. Like whatever it is that you stopped doing, and, it, and, and it, it was working, go back to it. You know what I'm saying? So in, in corporate America, we had this boss. She would do a start, stop, and continue. Now, I'm not trying to tell you, look at your marriage is corporate America. What I'm, I'm, I'm trying to bring out the principle. For you individually, and, and I guess y'all can talk it over. Like, what is it that you guys need to start doing? What is it that you need to stop doing? And what is it that you need to continue to do that will, con that will continue uh, to build your marriage up? So again, like Shamika said, look back at this 2021 year. Be um, great we're in it through the eyes of gratitude now mm -hmm. because we made it through. Right. Maybe there's some things you started that your spouse is like, yeah, I know you started that, but I don't, I don't really want you to do that anymore. Or, you know, and just kind of have this. So just kind of have this conversation because that's how you find out what the spice, what the spice, what the spouse likes or doesn't like anymore. And typically what happens when you get to a point in your marriage you're still doing something, but you haven't had the conversation for them to tell you that, hey, I don't like that anymore. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ask your spouse about the spice in life. Okay. I don't know. I just, when you said this, you said the extra spice. Yeah, I know that. Right? So, yeah. And so, and, and when I you do ask, do not, like, when you, when you ask, keep your ear open to that personal uh, evaluation. Like, you will know where maybe you dropped the ball or you know that you maybe could have could have improved and even if it's something that you may be like you know let's say he say your, your spouse say 
well, I want us to start working out together, mm-hmm. right? So it may be a stretch. Mm-hmm. Like that mean you may have to make the adjustments to either get up earlier or stay, you know, stay up later to get it done, to just give it a try. Right. Like don't come up with excuses about, oh, my back hurt and I'm whatever. Like, I mean, if your back is hurting, that's, in other words, figure it out. Yeah, my, my, yeah, my thing is figure it out. It don't have to be rigorous, right. but you can at least take a walk, walk in the park. Like you can knock it out. Or like buy, walk sunset. away the pounds and walk in your... No, go outside. But what if it's raining? Okay, well, figure it out. <laughs> you did just say that. That's, that's true. So you figure it out. Another thing, tone. So when so this this exercise we're asking you to do, you're gonna need the proper tone uh, when you're talking, and you know timing as well. So tone, uh, text, and uh, timing is gonna be very crucial to this particular conversation because we want to make sure that it's a conversation for because some people like you know you can get into this conversation and it creates arguments so we want to make sure you watch the tone if it's you know i don't like that anymore or this made me feel this way when you started doing this so this made me feel that this way when you started doing that and so watch your tone uh watch the timing and you know pay attention to the text in other words what you're saying if you can't talk because it's just been a very hostile and you know miscommunicating year text it you know, mm-hmm. it's okay to text and just say, you know, I was thinking about, let's give this a try. But even for that, because we're going into something there, something those conflict management. Even for that. There may be. That's a good. That's a good. Right. Even for that, and you feel like you need to text, write a letter. Say, hey, this is the reason I'm texting this because I feel whatever when I've tried to bring it up before in the past. You know what I'm saying? And, and okay. So we, in a way. Tell us what do you think some things to do for couples that they would that couples need to do uh, to better them their relationship in the next year. Let us know what you believe. Let us know what you think uh, in the comment section, and uh, we would love to read those. And for everybody who are, who have been asking for prayer, uh, I know we probably haven't commented back, but I want you to know we did see those. We are praying for you all, and uh, some of those it's, it's it's interesting that there's a common theme. Uh, in some of the comments, and I think we're going to do a video uh, and give you guys our perspective on what we feel about that. Amen? I say amen like to say in the church. Anyway, thank you. We love you. Take care, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.